Fatima, Portugal, one of the most significant apparition sites of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It has been the focal point of extraordinary conversions and healings within the 20th century. The story begins in the spring of 1916, when the Angel of Peace, St. Michael the Archangel, also known as the Angel of Portugal, appeared to three children three times prior to the appearances of Our Lady. On the third visit, the Angel personally brought Holy Communion to the children, mentioning Jesus as being present in all the tabernacles of the world. During the following year, 1917, Our Lady appeared six times to the children, beginning on May 13th, asking them to come to the sheep pasture on the 13th of each month until October. Lucia dos Santos, age 10, was the eldest of the three, who along with her cousins Jacinta Marto, age 7, and Francisco Marto, age 9, witnessed the apparitions. It was on July 13, 1917, Our Lady gave a prophetic and solemn warning for the world. She asked for the consecration of Russia to her Immaculate Heart. If my wishes are fulfilled, Russia will be converted and there will be peace. If not, then Russia will spread her errors throughout the world, bringing new wars and persecutions of the Church. The good will be martyred and the Holy Father will have much to suffer. Certain nations will be annihilated but in the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. The Holy Father will consecrate Russia to me, and she will be converted, and the world will enjoy a period of peace. Our Blessed Mother promised a miracle would occur during the noon hour on October 13, 1917. An estimated 70,000 people crowded into the sheep pasture drenched by the rains. As promised, a great solar miracle occurred. The sun, looking like a ball of fire, appeared as if it were plunging to the earth, terrifying the people. Many thought they would die. After 12 minutes, the sun reverted to its normal position. The mud-soaked ground and the clothing of the people dried instantly. The solar phenomenon was a sign of great magnitude given by God. It confirmed the gravity of the messages given by Our Lady of Fatima. Later, Lucia, who became a Carmelite nun, explained that the rosary and the scapular are inseparable. Our Lady wants everyone to wear the brown scapular and to pray the rosary every day. Fatima was the first apparition site to be approved by the Catholic Church within the 20th century. What messages did Our Lady impart to the children and to the world at that time? There are four significant message points. First, daily duty living chastely according to one's state in life. Second, prayer, particularly to pray the rosary. Third, Eucharistic reparation, communions of reparation on the first five Saturdays. Fourth, consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, along with wearing the brown scapula. Have we fulfilled the requests of the Blessed Mother? If not, shouldn't we begin now? With an increasing urgency, Our Lady has come again in other places to repeat the same message. Between the years 1917 and 1932, the world was troubled. The warnings had been given at Fatima and now Our Lady chose once again to grace the earth with her presence by appearing in Borang, Belgium. 